and welcome to wow, a... Wow, that was a high register. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello and welcome there to it our is. podcast, No Point, where we talk about... Everything and anything and nothing all at the same time. It's pretty impressive. I'm Chippy Bree. And I'm Francis. And together we make TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch videos. And I make... Keep talking. And you, you let me. You left me on an island there. <laughs> Let's jump right into the podcast. Uh, All right, now this is intro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give it a second. Okay. You ready for the intro? No, I was born. It's coming. Okay. Intro. Oh, damn it. Um. Okay. Well, that was embarrassing. There was no. There was no intro. Uh, <laughs> it took a while to get there. That's weird, because I put together the You can't drink at the same time as me. I would like to drink what I would like to drink. That was you weird. You can't control what That's I drink. Hello, stupid. guys. If you are listening to us on Apple Music or Spotify, just a heads up, we do have a video version of this podcast available to all on our YouTube channel, Broski Studios. Uh-huh. If you are watching this on YouTube, we also have this podcast available on all podcast streaming platforms. <laughs> Which is more a better ad, because if you're watching this on YouTube and you're seeing this, you're like, no, I'm going to rather just listen to the audio at this point. Uh, it's not worth looking at this. Um, so, it's our first episode of season two that's not a holiday I was gonna, I was gonna say there's no theme. There's no theme. Unless our theme is nude. No, no, well, you would have a story to, you, about you, that? You would have to come, you would have to come to YouTube to watch me and friends. We I swear, in, pick up that cup. We are in the nude. <laughs> pick up that cup in your death room. <laughs> we are in the nude here on, uh, we are in the nude here on our podcast, mm. right? So, here's the story I want to get into, right? We have a story. Okay. Yeah, this happened to me a few weeks ago. Sure. And I know I told you about this, but it's been, like, I've had nightmares about this. Like, I've been pretty ashamed of what I did here, God, right? I'm confused. So, I went to Starbucks with our sister, Kat. Okay. Right? And we went through the drive-thru. And I'm sitting in the car, and the drive-thru's taking forever. I'm jamming out the music. I have my What kind of up. song? I don't remember, okay. right? That, that's Wasn't just, that big Why part? do you always go down to the nip? You, you were jamming out to a song. I wanted to yes, know what I, I could was, jam out to. I was listening to a song, right? Uh, like, it was a long, long line. Like, probably, like, 10, 15 minutes. Wow. And at this time, I haven't even ordered yet. Okay. Somebody, Somebody's ordering. I'm right next, right? Yeah. I put my feet up on the dashboard. So I'm Are you driving? Yes. No. Trying, well, there's I no was, way you put your feet parked. up on the dash. When you're was, dri- there's a steering wheel I, yes, in front of you. I was parked in the thing, right? You were parked in the way. I was parked in the drive-thru waiting to get next. The drive-thru's not moving. If I'm in the drive-thru and I'm in front of you and I look to my rear view <laughs> yeah, and I see a dude with his feet on the dash driving, I'm getting out of that line. Well, the moral of the story is there's people in front of me in this drive-thru. Shoot. And my feet are up on the dashboard, yeah, right? Terribly. And I accidentally move my feet and I honk. For a good twenty seconds at the car, in you're front a of terrible me. human. And I know there's nothing they can do because they're in they're a drive the through. Yeah, they're just they're just looking at the guy behind them with their feet on the dash, honking the horn, going, "I hate this guy." I don't know if you, you've ever done this, but I feel like every single kid, right, when you're like when your parents driving the car, right, yeah, and somebody honks at your parents, all the kids in the back seat turn around to see what's up. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like they're, they're the parents, like the gangbangers. Uh-huh. Like, they're like, you disrespect my mom's driving? I'll disrespect <laughs> you. Okay. Right? And yeah. all of a sudden, I see two kids and their heads turn like owls, right? Uh-huh. Out the back window. And, and you're still and, the, the idiot with his feet on the And you dad. can tell the, the mom's looking back and she's like, what? What's the problem? And then I tried to say, I'm sorry. Right? Yeah, that's And how I could simple. say I'm sorry was, like my two hands up, like hands up, like don't don't attack me. Sorry, it was an accident. Like oh, my hands but it, up. I know where it's going. <laughs> I'm playing my hands up. You know why I did this? I just did this right now because I was like, I was like, oh, this makes sense. And then I realized someone else seeing this. Uh, yeah, it continues. You quickly put your two hands up. Yeah, it, it looks, looks like you're, oh, you're so angry. angry. You're like this thing stinks. Right? And at this point, the car behind me. Did you throw, did you throw your hands up at me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right at this point, the car behind me is like. Oh my gosh, the car's <laughs> in front fight. of me. He's a loony. <laughs> He's getting mad at this car. And now, there's multiple cars in front of the car that I honked at, right? Mm-hmm. So now they're like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? And then You're I still know there. Fact, they told the Starbucks employees, because I got to the window, and they go, sorry for the wait. Like, with an attitude. Like, they definitely know it was me that honked a few minutes ago. I just picture every single person go, it was the white car that threw his hands <laughs> up. And hop. After hop. And you're and still in the drive thru line. You get up and you're looking like, like this. And the like, hands are hands up with me. The moral of the story is I was ashamed 
mortified. Yeah. But also, if like that car, let's let's say it wasn't a mom. Let's say it was a yeah. guy and he had like rage oh, and he you came out fought. with a bat, right? Died. And he was like, "You honking at me?" I can't be like, "No, I <laughs> throw your hands up again." I would have had to double down on this and been like, "Sir." Not only am I honking on you, you need a simpler Starbucks order. <laughs> this is a this is a good life lesson. Just don't put your feet on the dash when you're driving. I was stopped in a. There's store. still never a reason to put your feet on the dash. Imagine if like there's some places you just can't put your feet up, right? Like like when you're driving right now, right? If I'm yeah. I'm in a <laughs> if I just started putting my feet up, you'd be like, that's disrespectful. It's wrong. We're filming a podcast, yeah. Francis. But if I did it. It's not an appropriate time. I wouldn't be mad. You if would. Your... I know. I wouldn't have been mad. I'd be. I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to say anything about this. <laughs> Only the maybe nobody on the audio format would know. I don't and, know. I, I think, um, yeah, no, you were but wrong. I was. I was mortified. But I. 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 To this day, I know that if like a guy got out of the car, I would have had to went down with that. Be like, yeah. Really? Like I couldn't. Not have, me. I couldn't have apologized. I'm a baby. I'm not. I'm you not, would have apologized, <laughs> depending on how big the guy is. If he's willing to get out of a Starbucks car. line to fight First me, of all, nobody. I, I, I think I could take anybody that drinks Starbucks. I mean, really? I yeah. I There's like, some big guys that drink Starbucks. No, I buddy. think they drink Dunkin'. I'm gonna wait till you drink. I think they drink, drink Dunkin'. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, I'm not fighting a guy. I would fight a guy. No, I, I don't think I'm not. I'm not scared. I've seen the, the Starbucks. Crowd. I weigh like 30 pounds. Everybody in the visual podcast is looking at you, going, "That's nah, a bad move." <laughs> guys, it's a bad should, move. Guys, if you're listening to this podcast right now, tweet at us at Broski Studios on Twitter, right? And let me know, What's if your... you don't follow Broski Studios on Twitter, follow Broski Studios on Twitter right now. Let me know right now if you think I could take, in a fight, an average size male. Why would you do this to yourself? I want to know. An average honest... size male? Again, like, honest... You know you're Ab... below. Yeah, I'm right. Like, like, <laughs> you, are, you are below. Well, So you're average, asking for somebody the better. The average Starbucks. Here, here's clientele. a better way to phrase your question. Do you think I could take somebody bigger than me? You think, like, <laughs> you think I got it? Do you think I could do it? No. I genuinely think so like dumb. you might be like, oh my gosh, no way. But I think I'm I'm a rascal. Like I think I can just like no. get my way around, like, like go for the legs. Your only fighting <laughs> experience is with me. And I'm close to you. So anybody bigger is gonna rock your world. <laughs> I could take you. Like, like, I could take you right here. Right don't now. roll down that window. I could take you. I don't know why, right but I am very tempted to end this podcast and jump over the table and, and put, put you in a stranglehold. Just see what happens. Like the people on the visual, the audio podcast will be thoroughly confused. <laughs> what the visual happened? podcast is getting a show. <laughs> they, they can't wait for yeah. next week. <laughs> We don't even, we Twitch stream daily on our Twitch channel, Broski Studios. I just imagine, like, we don't Twitch stream until, like, the next (laughs) podcast came out. We don't post another TikTok video. It's the last they've ever seen of us. Is is that legal? Because I feel like it would would do well. If every single week, rather than doing this podcast, you know, we just can it. And we just have a fighting match, me and you, every week. I believe... Could we sell them? Fighting's legal, because, like, MAA, MMA, MFA, WWE, they all... So like, so I fighting's not. I think fighting is assault is only assault if you don't agree to being punched. <laughs> like if if you get punched no. and you're like oh, and you're like I didn't want I didn't. that. Yeah, but like I feel like if you if you agree like that's we're not, gonna I, I feel like if you're that's like we're true. gonna fight right here right now. I want to Google it now. Okay, but well, I feel okay. like if, no 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 because no. that would if, just if be I a duel. Said, if I said we're gonna fight right here right now and I stab you with a knife. <laughs> well, no, that's why I'm not saying no, 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 I'm no, not no, saying no, beating to the bolt. Pulp. I'm saying like a. Like a one-two combo. <laughs> I feel like it's illegal. It's legal. If both parties agree to it. No, it's depending on how much damage you do to them. Really? Right? If, I, if I, me and you agree to a fight, right? Yeah. And then I'm I'm obviously beating you, right? I and then I just keep You have a referee there. So the referee is... So now, you now, now it is just a ring. Yeah. At this yeah. point, you have not created an assault crime. You've created a fight club. Well... Uh, I thought my sister was going to fight me the other day, right? Really? Yeah, I thought she was going to fight me. We were at the what market. Happened? And oh. it, was, it was just me and my sister, right? And we yeah. went to the market. My sister, yeah. Kat. I took her to the market. I have an opinion on Just like I took her to Starbucks, right? I have an opinion on this. I have an Kat, opinion. Kat, Kat, you, Kat, Kat, Kat. Guys, our sister's behind the camera. And you can jump in on this, but stay behind the camera. Uh, right? Here's the thing. So, me and my sister, Kat, yeah. we went to the market. I wasn't there. We, I was we went to the market, right? Was I asleep? And... Yeah, you were asleep, right? Mm. And we were in the meat section and, like, the milk and the dairy, right? Yeah. I was not. I was in a different aisle, but my sister was. How right? many aisles away? He's a liar. I was probably two aisles away. You're saying he's a liar? Why? He 
because he's already trying to make it sound like he wasn't near me, but he was 100% near me. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was not near him. How her. many seconds away do you think you were? I think 10. 10? 10 seconds. Ten I had the carriage she to get to you. He was at the other side of the carriage. You know a carriage with? That's not correct. That's not good. That's not that's correct. correct. That, you're taking a long <laughs> 10 seconds to get around that carriage. That is not correct. That was not a carriage distance. Well, actually, before we get started, three just heads up, we're the only state that calls it a carriage. Really? Yeah. Oh, so I just for people out. to know, we're talking about a shopping cart. A trolley. But in Rhode Island, we <laughs> call it... Called? Yes, but in Rhode Island, we call it a carriage. A carriage, yeah. Right? I was not a, I was not a carriage away, right? So here's what I really happened. Not. I was two aisles away. My sister was going down the aisle, like, she was north, and she was going south. North. I was south going north. <laughs> right? I'm trying, to, okay. I'm trying to articulate okay. this for the yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And the wind was coming east to no, west. like, she was coming down the aisle, I was up the aisle, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we I were not it. near each other, yeah. right? Cat turns around the aisle, and there was an elderly woman, probably okay. in her 60s. 60s? 60, 60, 70s, How right? How tall? Um, short. She was frail. She was definitely shrinking. Oh, uh, was she bigger? Or no, 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 no. She was skinny. She was skinny. Skinny, skinny. She was... Average? I don't know, right? <laughs> the moral of this could story that, is... Could JP take that average woman This is the big part the of the story. <laughs> could, could tweet at me. Could I take on the 60-year-old average-looking shrinking woman in a fight, right? So here's the thing. <laughs> I still think She no. went to get milk in sure. the milk thing, and she opens up the milk cooler, and she grabs it. Somehow, this woman doesn't understand how to grab milk, because she knocks over seven gallons How do you do that? Milk. Because they're, they're, so in a, was, they're in a it's, line. It's, it's on a line on a tray. Yeah. Right? The milk was to the back, so she went and she got a milk, she dragged the milk from the back to the front, and then it seesawed and pushed the milk down, and it flipped the tray. Do you know why people go for the milk in the back? Because it's newer. Yeah, so so she took it from the back, that and seesawed the thing. seesawed the thing, because it, like, the messed up the weight, and, and it the whole flipped. Thing flipped. Seven crates. Luckily, the crates didn't, like, the... Land on the frail, shrinking woman. No, luckily, they didn't, like... Kapla, <laughs> like kaploop on the ground. <laughs> yeah, like see, I'm more concerned no, about the woman. I, well, here's the thing. My sister then, immediately after this happens, I did not see this happen. Yeah, right. Immediately, I'm nowhere near my sister. She goes, JP, JP, come quick, help this woman, this poor woman. <laughs> she dropped all these milks, right? So if I was this woman, first of all, You're she's probably so embarrassed. Yeah. And the fact that my sister had the audacity to bring attention to it by the way, this poor woman dropped all this milk. Come, she can't, don't make her bend over. Don't make her bend over. Come over and help. At this point, it's 10 seconds later. I'm walking over the carriage. I'm like, what's going on? Now, this woman is bent over, picking up, picking Leave up the, the cart thing. Milk. Her back. Do they look like she's having trouble picking this Definitely, up? right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that was the answer no, she no, was supposed no, no, to go. No. She I looked look, fine. Was she having trouble doing this? You're like, 100%. No, she looked really fine. Bad. Well, this isn't going to help any of the audio listeners. I know. This is not good. Our sister gave us a drawing of what she thinks it happened. That is not true. And let me just tell you. Yeah, yeah, she just was make here. sure you are a carriage. She was here. Yeah, of course. She <laughs> was here. She was here. I was up. here. Yeah. He I was in, in reality, yeah. I was here coming up. But the audio and the visual I'm can't see I'm always going to trust diagram. a woman who's clapping. Right? So, <laughs> so here's what happened. She he is now. the carriage and he backs Stop down. it. No, stop. This is what's happening. Yeah. I'm now no. coming so you up see the aisle. This woman. I'm now coming up the aisle. You see this poor I old hear my sister woman. screaming at me. Yeah. So I'm coming up the aisle. Screaming. She's, well, she's, she's screaming. screaming. JP! JP! This poor old woman dropped the. Now the entire store knows about the milk, yeah, right? Yeah. So at this point, um, she's bent over. Backwards, picking the struggling this up, right? as we found. No, out. she's not <laughs> struggling. Don't she take it back. Absolutely fine. Her back is facing me. Stop it. Her back is facing me. Right? You can get to that cat. Her back is facing me. I come up the aisle. Right? I'm coming the aisle. So she, I the woman doesn't see, see you. No, I finally see cat. This woman fine. does not see me. And cat goes finally. No, JP, come. She goes. She, she goes finally. JP, come here. Help this poor old woman pull up the pick up the milk. <laughs> she can barely do it. Neither can I. I can't bend over and get this milk. That is our just sister standing. was in a car yes, accident. But this woman does not know that our sister's Mind been in our car accident. So this so this being to him. This, okay. this no, that's not true. <laughs> this this poor old woman Your is sister. standing in the aisle, right? Yeah. Picking this up, sure. And there's this woman, this, wow, this you young really girl, see. embarrassing her. Like, yeah, this woman dropped all the milk. Somebody come help her. <laughs> and, and this no. woman, if I was this woman, this entire thing, I'd be like, how about this woman, this girl, cat, 
stop yelling and help me herself. She doesn't know about the car accident. So I'm yeah. out the aisle and I finally see Kat. I do not know about this milk situation. And Kat points to the milk and goes, she dropped all the milk. Yeah. Finally, JP, come and help. Now at this point, I am embarrassed for Kat. I'm embarrassed for this woman. Her back is facing me. There's coronavirus. So I do what any normal sane person would do. I just kind of shake my head. No, the cat is slowly back up. You monster! Well, <laughs> so you see a problem. You see the whole store. You finally come over. And your response is not to even say a word. Shake your head and like a kid who's seen no. a ghost. And slowly back up? Well, here's my thing, right? This woman has never seen me. So, she doesn't know I was coming to help No, her, but right? she knows somebody. She knows help's on the way. No, she's no, thinking, she, I think. That this woman who's keeps going, someone out for is absolute delusional <laughs> and keeps imagining this. JP, because if I was that woman, I'd be. Here's my love. You've created such. I a understand scene what I've story. done wrong. Yeah, yeah I understand everything. what I've done wrong. That I could have probably helped her. Mind you, the way she was bent, there was no way I could physically have went over and helped her. And with coronavirus, you know, you could not, not made it. Don't worry, ma'am. I got that. Well, and no, then make her stand. That would have been. Don't worry, ma'am. I got that when it first happened. Right. It is now 20, 30 seconds later before I even stroll up, right? You know the rule. 15 She's second rule. If something dropped within 15 well, if, seconds, you can't pick it back up. If I was this elderly woman and I need to know opinions, right? I'd be more, I'd be so mortified. At that point, I just want, want to clean it up as quickly as possible. And I want Please. this canary of a woman <laughs> who keeps yelling, Somebody help us! Right? I'm more mad. At, I should <laughs> think you're wrong because, again... Oh, I understand I'm technically in the wrong, but my logic is she's never seen me. <laughs> so you're wrong, but she doesn't have a face to know who's wrong. No, no. She, I think... More... If somebody doesn't see you, it's okay. So if I rob a bank <laughs> no. and no one saw me, I'm good. No, but if you rob the bank, right? <laughs> yeah. If you rob the bank, here's how I would relate this to you. If you rob the bank and the teller kept yelling, no, no, no. If you rob the bank, right, and yeah. you're robbing the teller, and the teller's like, you're robbing the bank with another person, right? <laughs> okay. And, and the t you're like, give me the money. Give me the money. And then your accomplice keeps yelling, is no one going <laughs> to help her? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> because in no way yeah. did Kat, and Kat could have helped yeah, her. But the accomplice could have you know, I hope you know you're the policeman in that situation who's supposed to help the bank teller and all, and you have a gun and you just shake your head no and run away. So you're still wrong. Well, in my honest opinion, was there no employee that like, that there was enough like chaos. To, I've like, seen a lot. Okay, I don't know. I've worked in retail... This I, I not, worked in, This is not an accident. I, I worked this in this entire crib. <laughs> I must delete I, I, this I mean, I worked in retail for three years, right? Right. So I've seen my fair share of people dropping stuff. And I've always walked away. <laughs> Speaking of people dropping stuff, right? I, Speaking of people dropping stuff. Oh, this no. Is another situation <laughs> with my wonderful sister, Kat, right? So... Uh, Aunt Annie's pretzels yeah. has this thing called. Uh, <laughs> has this thing. She's already laughing. It has this drink called the frozen hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh and my gosh. I would like this. I would like somebody to Google the frozen hot chocolate now to know what consistency. It's basically. Yeah. Okay. I'll get to it in a minute. Right. So basically, it's it's a frozen drink. Right. It's like an icy. My mother's uh, arm is broken. Right. So we were we were Christmas shopping and my mother ordered a frozen. Hot chocolate and had yeah. my sister hold it. We went. She loves those. Judging by the way he started the story about the dropping <laughs> segue, I'm nervous what you did to my mom's drink. Right? We're in <laughs> FYE for your in entertainment, right? Yeah. And we were actually buying you something. And I don't know what happened, Kat. Did you turn? Did you? Did, what? What? How did you drop it? Mom says, JP, can you help hold stuff? Kat can't carry all of this. <laughs> and I slowly and shake my head no. <laughs> and I back away. <laughs> Never hiring you to help anyone. You are the worst person. And and so he I, shook I, his I, head no. Wait, wait. He shook his head no again right. and walked back out. Put another item. That's it. He's the wrestling another, match begins. Actually, do you know what item? Your pop socket. Oh. He put your pop guys, on top only of the visual arm. podcast can see the pop socket, but they got this for Christmas for me. Thanks, okay. guys. I love it. Puts it on my arm. Then mom is behind me. He's next to me. He's saying no. He won't help. 
starts to walk away. A lot of excuses <laughs> for her. A lot of excuses for really her sister sure cat. So moral of the story is she she dropped it. It went to blue, right? The entire froze it was full, right? Yeah. All over carpet. Carpeted oh. FYE store, right? And my mom's like, were there a lot of people in the store? Uh, yes, 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 yes. And the manager comes over. Ooh. And the manager comes over and to describe what it looks like, he goes, "Oh no, someone has the case of the dropsies." And my mom and cat are mortified. I'm like, "Please give me anything to clean this up." Yeah. Anything to clean Our this mom up. And, and her mom goes, and sister are totally people like if they make a mess, they want to clean it up. And it must have been so funny cuz my mom uh, fell. Obviously, we're a very clumsy family <laughs> for this whole story. My mother fell in, in going into the grocery store that they caused another scene in uh that she, where they where he was uh where she fell and she broke her her arm and her uh, her leg uh but yeah so she so she must have looked so funny well yeah trying to that's ask why, to that's clean why it up. she had to that's why she was yeah. like please just let me clean it up just let me clean I it up right and then this helped. manager i i cannot help i was not seen this manager comes over <laughs> I and he goes, help. i was not seen <laughs> this manager comes you over you're like the manager <laughs> comes over and this is the type of manager i need for this old woman at the uh grocery store the manager comes over and goes Oh no, someone must have the cases of the dropsies. dropsies. My mom and my sister are like, please let me clean this up. He goes, no, I got it. Don't be ashamed that you went poopy. You went poopy all over the store. Why is he bullying my mother? <laughs> it's a brown, frozen no way. thing. He goes, he goes, and then there's no, another this woman. Didn't happen. There's another woman in he the didn't store. Say that. Yes, and there's He's another, the manager. Yes, and there's another woman in the store, and he goes, look, they went poopy. <laughs> <laughs> How old is this man? I'm 33. 33? You're yelling at this poor and crippled woman. The entire woman? store. Now my mom is so mortified. Yeah, she's and done. It's like a, she's like, and it's her like mom an announcement. I mean, if you don't know the season one, we've tried to describe her a little bit. But my mother is a is a five foot nothing, uh, now broken, <laughs> uh, very Catholic, Roman Catholic woman. Who who like like has a lot of like pride and dignity like she like this this must she be went broke her. <laughs> broke her. And he kept repeating and anybody that came into the story he was like watch your step. <laughs> JP, where are you right now? <laughs> You're shit. He, he, he left you left the store. I was not in the store. So he doesn't even know you're with them. You come in, no. the manager goes, they went, they went poofy. poofy, right? And then so what's really. <laughs> And he's like, what are you doing on the floor? And he goes, oh, you should have seen it before. <laughs> right? Okay. And it's carpeted. It's this brown I liquid. I think that's because he's cleaning it up. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. weirder for him he to is... go, they went poopy. And then he immediately like scoops it up. It was one of those ugly brown paper towers too that yeah. do like more oh, hard nothing. than yeah. they help. What are... So now there's just, Who... if you went to FYE right now, there would be a <laughs> weird thing. Brown carpet stain, <laughs> and I hope if somebody asks, like, what they what would happen, they go, you should have seen it. They went poopy. But yeah, let's talk about that brown paper towel for one second, because I know exactly what you're talking about. It's yeah. so rough, it's so bad. It's cheap. Who buys that? Schools. But it's why? cheaper. It's okay. Well, that's disgusting. Th- those are terrible. But wow, the girl went viral on TikTok because it was uh, my mom's kitchen and all her useless things. The mom only buys black paper towel. Yeah, it's paper oh, towel, but it's black. And it's ten dollars a roll, and the comments are all like, "It's not as absorbent, so it's worse than normal paper towel. It is strictly aesthetically pleasing to yeah. have black. Ten dollars okay. a roll. Okay, I mean we got an award favorite. So is that man? Did my did our mom like report the manager? <laughs> or was she so mortified when she left? Okay, did you ever go back in the store? No. So as soon as soon as cat I dropped was surprised it, you book she stayed it. In line. So it drops book. That's yes. your that's your yes. motto. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Drop more. Yes, yes. <laughs> Where'd you go? I went to GameStop. How long did you think it was gonna take that you went I, somewhere else and waited? I honestly, I, did you roll back on? Still see him on the ground? Hear the guy yelling? <laughs> keep going. <laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal. It just, sounds it. I don't want. To. <laughs> so she she, went, she waited in line. <laughs> yeah, she, that's what I was really surprised. She went through with the purchase. Wow. I wouldn't have. She get a discount. I would have ran. That thing dropped. He yelled. Someone <laughs> <You> went <laughs> right. <laughs> you go. I would have ran. You did. 
<laughs> what I was gonna again. say, what I was gonna say is like, if I if I drop that the second, like it collapses on the ground, <laughs> I'm out. Of, I'm out. Of, you shake your head no. I'm concerned what's gonna happen with you and your wife in a real problem situation. Yeah, and, so, and, she's and, gonna be like, I'm pregnant. You're gonna shake your head and and kaput. And you're gonna be on this podcast going, and she went kaplooey. It's <laughs> crazy. What's crazy? You're yes. psycho. <laughs> is I just imagine I drop it, it complets, I run, he goes, he went poop. <laughs> and I'm booking it out of the store. The I don't even have dream. time to explain Again. that it was a drink. And it, what was really funny, when, what I thought was really weird, was he then asked, he was like, do you want the raft of it? It was all on the ground. <laughs> he was the like, side was broken. Like, you know, like, was he was like, do you still yeah, want yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, the crack. And yeah. it's like sharp. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, wow. No, 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 he, he went <laughs> Did you guys leave the mall after this? No. No. Whoa. No, no. way you guys can... Did none of it get on you guys? No. They kind of sidestepped with it. I don't know how it fell. I don't know how it fell. I wonder how many people stole stuff in your diversion. <laughs> I doubt you it. get a great diversion. Well, and it's surprising because I'm definitely the clumsiest in the family. Oh. To the point. Can we talk about this too? For a okay, second. Can, okay, I'm going to go back to this story. Okay. Um... Now, now, a lot of these stories have somebody else being clumsy in it, right? We had the old lady being clumsy. We had our sister being clumsy. But if somebody said, who is the most clumsy person in the entire world? I think unanimously our entire family will go, oh, JP, he has a problem. <laughs> like, you have a problem. And so much so that every night I can't walk down our stairs because they are drenched with water. Because JP does not have the ability... To hold a cup still <laughs> while walking, apparently, especially downstairs, because it is a slip and slide. <laughs> it is a straight up slip and slide. Just and every night, it. every night we go, JP, you have to clean the stairs again, like clockwork. And he goes, yeah, I get it. Like, <laughs> and I just shake my head no. <laughs> no and I I walk I've had to clean the stairs so many times, but you drop everything. Restaurants, huge. A restaurant. It used to be worse. I used like, to spill my. Like it used to it, be like it, I would every just talk time, and spill. every time he talks, he talks, knocks it over, and and everybody has those moments where like somebody knocks over a cup, but you would do it every, every single restaurant. Was, was and like a time we would go out with people, we, out. we would go out with people, and they would be like, "Oh my gosh, oh," and you and and our entire family would go, "Oh, this happens." All the, the time. time, like more than you would think. Yeah, and it did for it did for a few years. He trips. He falls. He bangs his head and on the stairs. And surprisingly, the only family member that not to broke a bone. I, I know. I've never broken you a bone. Drop you drop over cups. You drop over plates. Anyway, uh, he's he's downstairs, and it's another night where JP has spilled water everywhere, uh, and he's had a few mishaps. And uh, our grandfather comes downstairs, and he's and he's talking to JP, and he's like, seriously. You have to do something about this. You are so clumsy. Like, it's a problem. You need to go to a doctor because there's nothing. I don't know wrong. what a doctor is going to do about my like, clumsiness. He says, like, maybe it's a brain uh, to, like, thing, tumor. Like, maybe. maybe it's your hand motor skills don't work. Maybe it's something wrong. I do have a weird thing where I will be holding something, though. And if any doctors are here, let me know. Like, I'll be holding something. And, and then it will give my out. hands will just let go of it. Yeah, it's a Like, I problem. won't have a fur. Like, I'll have, like, I'll be holding this, like, this mug, right? And I'm holding it. And then. It like would just, just drop. It just drops. And so, so anyway, we're we're going, and uh, I come downstairs, and I'm hearing this thing, and I go, I go, what's up? And JP goes in the middle conversation, talk about my clumsiness, <laughs> and I go, oh, it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> and he goes, and and my and, and my grandfather snapped, and he goes, this is serious. This is. This is your brother. Don't laugh and make a joke of it. You need to bring him to a doctor. What are you doing? When he's he called you, he went as far as yeah. to say, you were the worst brother ever. You were the ever. worst brother if ever. If you were a good brother, you'd drive him to the doctors right, right now, now and get him checked. And get him checked. And I'm looking. Like, I don't know if this is a joke or not. Because because I was coming downstairs to tell JP he spilled water <laughs> on the stairs again. But, but you couldn't do that because I would bring yeah, up a whole yeah, new can yeah. of worms. But so I'm coming and he's like, he's like, you need to go to a doctor. Like now it's like, you can't talk about his clumsiness, but what are you doing? What are you doing to fix him? So now my running joke in this family <laughs> is every time he does something, I go, yeah, but what am I doing to fix him? I need to take you to a doctor. Guys, please, if anybody knows, I think instead of taking you to a doctor, I'm just bringing it up on this podcast. <laughs> and, because and if anybody, if anybody has any medical diagnosis for me, please tweet at us at Broski Studios. You have no idea what it's like to be a brother. 
and get yelled at because you haven't taken your brother to a doctor's appointment for your clumsiness. I can't look the doctor in the eye and tell them that. Yeah, my brother, he can't do human tasks. Like, I can't, I can't do anything about it. At least I didn't. I'm taking you to the doctors. <laughs> I, that's, I still think I, I could fight it. that doctor. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right. If he's a regular uh, size. Boys and girls, if you are listening to this podcast right now on Apple Music or Spotify, do yeah. me a favor and follow and subscribe to the podcast, right? There should be a button. And basically what that will do is every single time we post a new episode, that will make sure you get a you get it to come up when we post a new episode so you can listen to every new episode. Yeah. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe right now and turn on your bell notification so you also know when we post a new episode. And you, and you can, can see when we start Fight Club. Yeah, when we start Fight Club it's next week. Coming um, and if you're listening on Apple Music, Leave a five star review and like a, a review, and we're gonna start next week reviewing reviews. Basically, yeah. that's a segment where we oh, will read your these. reviews and critique your reviews yeah. based on grammar, based on what you have to say, based on analogies you use. So that's a fun way you could interact with the podcast, or by tweeting at us, you have a chance of your tweet being read on the podcast. Like last week at Francis's birthday episode. If you haven't listened to any of our other episodes, they're Ooh. all available on Apple Music, uh, Apple Podcast, Spotify, uh, Amazon Audible. Um, yada yada yada. Every single every single yada, podcast. Yada yada yada. Yeah. Um, That's it. I'm fighting you. Also, if you don't know, we live stream on Twitch daily Ooh. on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Broski Studios. Uh, you should uh, follow that. We also have Dude. merch. If you go to www.broskistudios.com and hit the merch tab, this you can hat. buy merch like Francis' wonderful hat. I love this hat. Um, and how does the hat look? Tweet at us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's you, my question. You can get one at our merch store. Um, really also, um, if you do like our podcast and you want us to keep making podcasts and being able to uh, do more and better things, maybe even get something if you're listening, watching a visual, like a, or send us something that can go. Yeah, there. or send us, send us, guys. Something? If you guys could send us something, if you have an idea. box one zero zero one six, Chris and Rhode we're Island. looking for something. We're looking for something to go right here. Something JP can't break. Yeah, <laughs> um, you can send that. Um, or you can send us a financial donation via PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all Broski Studios. That's Ooh. the and uh, just and, let us know. Hey, we'll we love your podcast. Buy something. And we'll buy something. <laughs> we'll be able. Uh, yeah, be lazy. I guess. Yeah, you know, we'll, we can we can focus more time on the podcast, or you can back the podcast monthly by going to www.broskystudios.com, hitting on the podcast page, no point, podcast. and then support. The I podcast. swear, drink at the same time as me, and I'm going it's to fight you. It's not that big of a problem. It's a huge problem. All the stories. This is a great way to end the podcast. Um, we we told a lot of stories today. We got a lot fun done. Okay. Uh, but we have to give you guys a code word so you guys, uh, we know that you listen to the podcast. Kind of... Also, share the podcast with a friend. Tell a friend that you like this podcast and they should check it out. Maybe some of the old stuff and get catched up and now they can, they have, yeah. they have tons of hours of content of us. Uh, so tell a friend about the podcast because that's how we can grow. You but... tell a friend and I tell a friend. You don't have any friends. I know, but I can tell you about it. Ah, uh, code words. Oh, uh, code words. She went poopy! <laughs> that's good. That's a good uh, one. Uh, that one, or, uh, or, <laughs> it's someone help her. <laughs> Is no one got to help her? Uh, or, or, you're the worst brother ever. <laughs> Take him to the doctors. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for listening. We love you all, and until next time, Chippy Bree signing out. And I'm Francis. I hate that you never sign out. You should have done feel. No, don't fight me!